Hello, this is Unity Entertainment, and my name is Nate Walker Lots, and I want to show you what to look for in creating a thumbnail. I sound like a fucking robot. Alright, so, the first things first, you need a photo editor of some sort, and I'll be using a website called Be Funky. It's what I've been using to create most thumbnails on my channel. And when you upload any, uh, any file or any, um, any background cover you want, I guess, um, what you could do is you could upload, like, pictures like this or like this where um, it's like kind of like a mystical like background and then you can just change the colors of it later and you keep reusing it and reusing it or maybe just find a variety of those backgrounds or um, you can go with the, uh, the thing that usually works for other people which is like the uh, the sun ray uh, towards the middle and I have a few of those as well I'm going to be using this one uh, for that thumbnail so I'm going to be using a, uh, a s kind of a sun ray towards the middle uh, um, background cover and what you want to do now is that you have this in a uh, and be funky what you want it to have a, a decent pixelation because you're going to resize it uh, so I I'd, I have the I'd have the pixelation around 1000 by uh, by you know something equal to that so that way when you resize it by uh, 1080, which is like 1200, it's, it's not going to stretch it out that much. But uh, as you can see, I, I'm kind of contradicting myself here. I have 300 by 100, so it's it's going to it's gonna stretch out like a motherfucker. So dimensions for the YouTube thumbnail should be 1280 by 720, and that's, where, that's what I make all my thumbnails, and it works beautifully. And so now that you resized it, um, it looks a bit blurry for me, and I want I want to fix that. So in Be Funky there is a shut up phone, and Be Funky there is a uh, a sharpening tool. Okay, and then I want to soften it just a bit, so that way it's it's kind of standing out more right now. And now what I want to do now that it's easier to see, I'm going to change the color of it. Uh, in this like in this color tool and I want to leave saturation and temperature alone but I want to change this real quick and you can change this however you want and I want to leave it in a uh, for my for the purpose of my video I want to put it into a uh, a greener sort of sort of color so I want to have it like this is that or the whole purpose of the color um, is for it to stand out and be distracting so when people come across it uh, they'll want to click on it. It's kind of just an urge. So you have a nice, nice uh, standing out green color, neon green right here. Um, and now another another tip is that you want to have your your thumbnail represent what your video is about, whether it be um, about a fidget spinner or um, a cancerous reaction video. Um, you know, you put your face in the fucking thumbnail. Stop putting your fucking face in the thumbnail, PewDiePie. Um, so, but in my case, I'm doing a uh, a modded uh, troll right here, like a, a mod troll with someone else uh, named Gabbit. His his and my channel should be in the description, as well as this as 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 well as this mod uh, <laughs> as well as this mod troll. Uh, video that I'm making a thumbnail for that will also be in the description if you guys want to check me that video or my friend Gavit out so to represent him a little bit as a as a duo I'm actually going to import um, one of his logos and you can do that um, you can upload PNG overlays by going to the layer manager and you can add a layer and if you have like a checkerboard PNG file which I have his he sent me uh, you can use that for a uh, thumbnail editing another cool thing about be funky is that um, these lines that pop up uh, are border lines so what they allow you to do is they allow you to like line things up with other objects uh, just like this 
um, it's optional but it's it's also very very popular to put text in your thumbnail that kind of just it's a very very big text and that gets straight to the point of uh, what's your video about I want to use this text because it looks like very very bulky and what you want to do with text is that uh, I want to make this white and now what you want to do with text is son of a bitch what you want to do with text is that you want it to stand out from your background as much as possible um, so I'm typically using a uh, a white text most of the time with a very very uh, good black borderline around the text and you also want your text to be nice and big uh, to stand out so because the thumbnail in YouTube is going to be uh, very very small or miniaturized and what you can also do if you're trying to place text in the middle like I'm trying to do is um, I can just put it like right here and I want it remotely right there and I can go to this optional thing and uh, align it center alignment and now it looks it looks beautimous uh, so I like this the way it is with the color and the uh, the size and everything so what I can do right now is I can hit control D and it will duplicate my text for me so that way I can just you know take this and write something else and just copy and paste because I'm, I'm a lazy fuck like that also a side note I had to look up how to spell horribly don't be embarrassed because if you take like the extra second to google uh, how something is spelled it just it's gonna be better on you in the future spell words correctly in your thumbnail it just it's just a, an extra point I guess if you spell shit correctly in your thumbnail now when you're trying to like maneuver text around in your thumbnail you kinda want a basic idea already set in your mind of what you want to say in that thumbnail so that way later on you'll be able to have it um, maneuvered and uh, placed it like I'm doing right now in the, in the position that you want it and it's hard to do that if you don't even know what you're going to say in your thumbnail so I'm doing a, uh, a text pattern right now and it's kinda like a uh, small mid uh, big medium or a big mid and then lower mid again so it's kinda like a little pattern and I'm doing that because we tend to recognize patterns and it's kinda like appealing to the OCD brain that I have <laughs> So, this is looking like our typical uh, clickbait thumbnail, so we're getting somewhere. So now that we have the text set up, we have the logo set up, and if there's anything else that you want to put in the thumbnail, for me, I'm going to probably just leave it like this. I, I don't want to fuck it up anymore. It looks, it looks great right now. So now what you want to do now is you can save uh, to the computer and save it as a JPEG file. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm pretty sure this does nothing but I want to just put it at 100% uh, you know just for shits and gigs and I'm just gonna name this the exact name that uh, I gave the uh, the file name for the video and so there you go you can have a uh, you know, there should be an option down here change uh, thumbnail you, you guys know it if uh, you found this tutorial at all uh, entertaining or useful then you should probably subscribe to unity and if you want, you can check out my channel, and this video will also be in the description as well, uh, whenever I do upload it. This is your boy Nightwalker. Peace. Guard by bars that are written, they are known to no limit, I just speak shit into existence. Straight bullets keep whizzing, by my head they keep missing. I should be dead, but I keep living. Fuck what they said, I don't listen. You are a monster in my prison. You are not loyal, stop bitching. You keep dissing, keep tripping. Your friction just keeps my vision vivid. You bitches are not part of my interest.